Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for September. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. Okay, so let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Ooh, we got four. I think we will go with those. Younger woman, dealings or relationship with a younger woman. So you're going to be dealing with a younger woman. Throne, position of authority. So I don't know if she's on a position of authority or if you're in a position of authority. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. It's probably this younger woman. Lobster. Financial pinch. You may be in a financial pinch. This younger woman looks like she has some tricks up her sleeve. She doesn't look very happy. She looks like she's malicious to me. So I feel like, I don't know if somebody's after your money or shit, this purse could be somebody you work with. I don't know. This could be somebody looking for child support or could even be a child that is causing problems. You know, children do that. They do. Um, could be somebody you work with. It could be, you know, somebody, who knows. We do have a position of authority, though. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Wonderful. Wonderful. This person is younger than you. What do we have for... Aquarius. I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius because that's what just came to my mind. Sagittarius popped into my mind. So this could be somebody that has Sagittarius in their chart. Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising. I don't know. What do we have for Aquarius? This person may be jealous of you. Bad advice from a friend or family member. So somebody is giving you bad advice. Ooh. Rejection is God's protection. I got to show you what's on the bottom because it's obviously very prominent. Younger woman. Younger woman. You got a younger woman here that you absolutely, positively cannot trust. So you keep that in mind. That doesn't, things like that don't come up twice for no reason. Okay? So what do we have for Aquarius? This person is insincere, does not have good intentions. Mm. Rejection is God's protection. Your prayers have been heard. So that is interesting. Let's get one more. What do we have for Aquarius? Ooh, been getting this card a lot lately. Speeding causes accidents. So, I don't know what is going on, but somebody needs to slow down. All right. So, let's get one of these. Speeding causes accidents. Slow down. And speeding is not just in a vehicle. Okay, speeding into relationships. Speeding when you're cutting up vegetables. Speeding when you're texting and you're texting too fast. Doing anything too fast is considered speeding. And it will cause an accident. So remember that. You have a younger woman here who may be waiting for you to mess up. Or she's, she's trying to rush into things. Maybe she's in a financial pinch, you know, and the faster she rushes into things, the less you see. Be very careful, okay? What do we have for Aquarius? I just, I want to say Sagittarius again. Release your ex. The time is now to clear your energy. The time has come to clear your energy. 
I don't know if this is an ex or if it's a girlfriend of an ex or a child of an ex. I don't know what this is, but there's somebody that you need to release. Could be somebody you grew up with. Maybe when you were, I don't know. There's somebody that you need to release. Calling in your soulmate. And that's where your prayers have been heard, okay? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So you are calling in a soulmate. Your prayers have been heard, especially if you're single. I also, I gotta tell you, there is an ex around you that is not your friend. And I feel like this person may feel like they have some sort of authority over you. This person is insincere. They're giving you bad advice. And you need to be damn careful. You also have a soulmate around you that is the answer to your prayers. I feel like you need to wait for this person. And if you've already met this person, go slow. Don't rush. If somebody wants to rush, then they're not in it for long-term stability. They're, not, they're desperate. They're desperate. Like I was telling Leo's the other day about the three little pigs. You build a strong foundation with hard work and time. Okay, and when you build the foundation fast, any kind of foundation, it is bound to crumble just as fast. So you gotta build things slow, okay, and steady. So if somebody wants to rush this, that person, you think about the tower, it's built on a false sense of security. It was built up fast without even knowing, you know, if it was on stable ground. Uh-uh, no, mm -mm, no thank you. We want, we want to make sure that everything is good. We're going to start from the bottom and we're going to do an inspection and we're going to build this up and we're going to build it up slow. We're going to make sure there's no problems from the very beginning. So what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? King of Pentacles reverse could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Tower. <laughs> Tower reverses is trying to avoid something. It's like, a, but you can't avoid it. You want to build up a false sense of security with somebody? Somebody's trying to falsify things with you. They're lying to you. They're not telling the truth. Okay? Somebody is false. Okay? They're false. They're, they're filling you up with bullshit. Could be a Scorpio. Could also be an Aquarius like yourself, unfortunately, but it could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is somebody here that is unstable. They may be in it just for the money. Maybe they're attached to you just for the money. They want just the money. They want the roof. They want the home. They want the money. They want the foundation. Maybe you got into it real fast with this person. You know, they pulled the wool over their, your eyes with their charm. Obviously, when I mean, you're dealing with a king of pentacles or even a queen of pentacles, very charming, very cunning, very clever, very nurturing in the beginning, okay? But there's also, there's obviously some falseness here. Maybe you avoided, you know, building the foundation up strong from the beginning, like I just said. I don't know if this person has rejected you and now they want to start over. Or they want you to take them back. Anyhow, the tower reverse. That is that's a that is a permanent loss. It really is. You can't you can't you, it, there's nothing left to do but go someplace else. You may have never saw it coming. You know, maybe you built up this foundation, it looked so grand, it looked so stable, and boom, it just fell apart. Maybe you sped into it. Maybe you didn't you didn't you didn't look at all the specs before you built it. Ace of Swords in the future, which is truth. Devil. Whew. 
Queen of or Nine of Pentacles reversed underneath that tower reversed, Two of Cups in your future. You have a soulmate here in your future, somebody that is well suited for you. Six of Pentacles, Emperor, Hierophant reversed. Five of Wands, Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Swords reversed in Page of Swords. Your person is very aggressive. I feel like they are wanting to have it all. They It's almost like marrying for money. This person, it may be a player. I don't know if you're dealing, you've dealt with somebody that is quite uh, competitive. They love competition. They love to get attention. This is somebody that is very smug. You know, they sit on a high horse. They love what you can offer them. They love the, the stability that you can offer them. They may want the stability that you can offer them, but I feel like this person has, I don't know if they've been doing something behind your back. You know, they've been competing or they've been playing games or they've been playing with others, you know, uh, communicating with others, you know, thinking that you wouldn't find out. I feel like there is somebody here that... Uh, This is like an enemy that is disguised as a friend, okay? Or it's a, an, an enemy disguised as a partner. They're in it for just the money, just the stability that you can, or the, the whining and dining. Have you been, maybe you've been whining and dining this person. Um, you're going to be receiving a message from this person if you haven't already. This person may may use some sort of pain, you know. They may say they're hurt or they're hurting over something. They may, they may ask for your attention and you're going to probably give them your attention. This person may use emotional manipulation on you. Um, they may even use a child against you. You know, they may use the children or a child against you, you know, to get what they want. This is somebody that is very arrogant. They have you, it feels like they got you wrapped right around their little finger and they know it and it's ha ha ha. You know, I feel like this person feels like they got you wrapped. They got you, they got you wrapped right around their little finger. Um, I don't know if this, this may even be a child. It could be a child of yours or it's a family member or it, it could definitely be a family member. But the Ten of Swords reversed is as low as you can go. There's some sort of conflict here or a fight. This person, um, there could be a fighting over money or fighting over, I don't know if this person has some sort of addictions, could it even be drinking. I don't know what it is, could be eating. I don't know, there is somebody here that has addictions that you are dealing with. Maybe they have an eating problem, you know, maybe they can't eat or they eat too much or they, they maybe they have an eating disorder. I feel like there's somebody here that may say that they're sick. They may use some sort of sickness to get what they want with you, to get you to give them money. They may use something like that to get money. You know, I need the money. I need money. You know, I need money for this. I need money for that. I think that you need to be careful. I do feel like you need to be careful. I feel like there's some tension or conflict with your person. I feel like your person is lying to you about something. Okay, they are definitely lying to you. I feel like you're dealing with a player. I gotta be honest. I feel like this is your ex because it's right next to release your ex card or it's somebody that you are trying to break free from. And I feel like you're, but it's having a, you're having a hard time breaking free from them, maybe because you're codependent. The middle card is where you're at right now. That's codependency. Okay, that's devil. That's the devil. The devil is codependency. Maybe maybe you don't want to be alone. You know, we get the nine of pentacles reversed right next to it. I don't want to be alone. We have somebody here that needs attention, you know. I don't want to be alone. Maybe it's some sort of addiction. Maybe it could be even like, you know, they're giving you something. Maybe it's a sexual addiction. Maybe it's... Uh, you know, they give you some sort of pleasure, but this pleasure isn't long lasting, okay? There may be some instant gratification this, that this person gives you, but it's not long lasting. Whoever you are dealing with, who you've been dealing with is quite unstable. They are quite insecure. It is an unstable foundation. They don't have anything solid to give you. I feel like this person may even be unfaithful, okay? They may be disloyal and unfaithful. They may even have sex with others, you know, but they don't tell you that you know I feel like they're giving to somebody else because they need constant attention whoever you're dealing with your ex whoever this person is that um and maybe your ex is dealing with a younger person I don't know we have we have somebody here 
that you cannot trust and, there, and it, there's a strong sexual energy with this person this person needs attention okay it's about give and take they want to get they want to get any type of attention that they can get they are very 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 unstable okay very unstable king of pentacles reversed tower reversed nine of pentacles reversed completely insecure and, and unstable Okay, and I feel like they've made you feel insecure because that's the way it goes, right? They've made you feel insecure because I feel like you know. I feel like your intuition knows that something is up with this person. I feel like this is a disgrace. I don't know if you were going to get married to this person or you are married to this person, you know, and you're under a lot of social pressure to be bound to this person. There's some sort of social pressure here. I don't know if you've told everybody that you're connected to this person and there's some sort of embarrassment with separating or breaking up with this person um, I do believe that you deserve more I think that you know that you deserve more I feel like uh, you have another soulmate here this is somebody that you are compatible with I feel like you've been praying for this person I feel like you've been calling in this person but you might have to go through a separation from this toxic individual first there's definitely a toxic connection here it's right in the middle with the devil card you need to sever ties you need to take charge you need to take the lead you need to make a decision to sever ties and separate from this uh, commitment that you have been committed to. Whoever you are dealing with probably isn't really, really, really committed. They're not really committed. They may not really be looking for marriage, but they sure are looking for attention. They're looking for attention. They're looking for stability. They're looking for financial stability. And I feel like they're this person, I don't know this per what kind of addictions this person has. Could even be a sexual addiction. I don't know. But whoever you're dealing with has a serious addiction. Um, they are quite, quite toxic. And I feel like, I feel like you know it. I feel like you know it, but I feel like there's a, but breaking free is, is so hard to do. Um, I feel like in the future we have the Ace of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Emperor. So if you are a female watching this, a feminine, you have a masculine here that is a perfect match for you. This is somebody that is honest, that is truthful, that you are very compatible with. You will be communicating with this person. If you are a masculine energy here, you also have somebody that you're going to be communicating with. Um, there is some sort of commitment issues though. There could be somebody here that doesn't really want commitment. Or maybe they didn't want commitment in the past. They were scared to give up their independence. They were scared scared to get up, give up their independence. I feel like you have a deep, 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 strong bond with somebody. Um, you're going to be communicating with this person. This person may be going through some sort of awakening right now. They're going to be reaching out to you. Somebody is going to be reaching out to you. Um, could be an Aries, could be a Capricorn. I do feel like there is somebody that is watching you as well. There is somebody that is watching you. They're watching you from afar. They, um, they may feel like they're not good enough for you. They may feel like there's a lot of competition, you know, and they're, and they're feeling like you, you won't accept them. So that you do have somebody here that is probably f afraid. They're afraid. They're afraid to take a chance. This person sees you as stable. They see you as solid. They see you as wish fulfillment. I feel like this person um, is probably not really communicating much at the moment because of the competition. It's like why would why would they choose me when they have so much when there's so much competition? Whoever you're dealing with, uh, you have two people here. You definitely do. You have your ex or you have somebody that you are, have been in a toxic bond with that you need to sever ties with. That's one. That's one person that you have here. You need, and I don't know if you've been married to this person or engaged to this person or or in some sort of commitment. You, it's a, It was a one-sided commitment with this person. I feel like you really, really, really need to let it go. You, it's time for you to build a new foundation someplace else. And you're going to be communicating with somebody that feels a strong connection with you and that is being brought to you from above this is somebody that 
you will have chemistry with. You probably already know this person. I feel like you do know this person. This person may feel like you're still involved with your ex as well. I feel like you're, you are in a position of authority. You have a choice to make. I also feel like you have somebody here that um, may feel like they are inadequate. The soulmate of yours, wherever that card went, may feel like they are inadequate for you. Maybe you make more money within them, you know, and they feel like they can't give you enough. But they feel such a deep connection with you. So whoever this future soulmate is, this future soulmate, um, may be going through some sort of upheaval in their life. They may be separating from a false contract as well, or maybe they already have. There is definitely somebody here that feels inadequate. They feel like they are not good enough for you. I feel like you've been praying for communication from somebody. This person is about to communicate. I would say very, very, very soon. They may, they may say that they want to give you something, you know. There could be, a, there could be, uh, a major disruption in their life that they have gone through that has made them realize something, realize the truth, you know, about their feelings for you. But it is time for you to release your ex so that you can be prepared for this person. There is somebody else here. There is. They're absolutely... I feel like you could be building a home with somebody, building a business... This person may say that they are free, you know, and they they want they want you to give them a chance. So I don't know. That's that's a weird. That's different. Somebody is really going to be. Uh, I feel like they're going to be pursuing you. This is somebody. This somebody. This is somebody that sees you as. A leader. They really, really, really look up to you. If you are independent, you may not, and you're not looking for a commitment. Say if you're single, you're not looking for a commitment. You're, you're, you're not looking for it. You're going to have, you, something is going to happen that is going to shock you. It's going to be a complete surprise. You never saw it coming. This is a new partnership. You're, it's like, you're, it's, so if you're single, so you're single, you're not looking for a commitment. You're, you're not, you're not interested in it. You know, you, you're not looking for it. It's something, it's going to happen. It's like, boom, it's like. Somebody is going to reach out to you. You know, this is somebody that is going to make you think differently. They're going to give you a new perspective. This is a this is somebody that is going to fight for you. This is somebody that is going to put in a lot of effort. They're going to do whatever it takes, which is crazy. There's a, there's a lot of messages here. I do feel like you're going to be deepening a bond. There's a strong sexual energy as well. I feel like you're going to be engaging with, you know, somebody that is very, very, very attracted to you. You're also going to hear information. Maybe it's about your ex. That get this inf This is what you needed to hear. This is this is it. This is it. This is it. This is like a, this is exactly what I needed to hear to let you go. There could be a change in your living situation.
Release your ex. You've been calling in your soulmate. Good luck.